Hi, my name is Mary. Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger so our everyday activities are just a little easier to do. Now before you begin this or any exercise program, you'll want to check with your doctor and he'll tell you exercises you should or shouldn't do. You'll want to wear loose, comfortable clothing like Carol and I so you can bend and stretch without feeling any restrictions. You'll also want to make sure that you have a good sturdy chair like Carol and I. There are no rockers on our chairs, no rolling wheels or anything. We are in a good sturdy chair. Also, you'll check your environment. We're going to be reaching up and pulling to the side and reaching down. So you want to look all around you and make sure your environment is nice and clear. Also, you want to have water that we drink before, during, and after our time together. You'll work at your own pace, so if Carol and I are working too fast for you, you slow it right down. If we're doing eight and you can only do three, fabulous. That's wonderful. You're making an effort and that's great. But always listen to your body. If your body tells you to slow down, then we certainly need to honor and respect our bodies. If you want to go faster than Carol and I, and you can do it very safely, go right ahead and do that. But you want to make sure you're not bouncing or forcing any moves. Now all these exercises will be really a lot easier to do if we eat well. Very, very, very important. So eat all your fruits and vegetables. And also, you'll want to make sure that you get a good night's sleep. Sleep is really important too. Another way that these exercises are nice and easy to do is if the corners of your mouth are turned up. <laughs> yes. So, before we begin this program, let's meet Carol. Hi, I'm Carol. I like to walk in the, walk in the summer and run in the winter. I like to read. I like to watch television. I like to dance and I love to exercise. She does. And also, she's very good at meeting and greeting and having a lot of fun with her friends. Is that right? That's right. right. That's right. She has a lot of friends. That's true. That's true. That's because I always have a smile. That's right. And that's a really good point to bring up, Carol. It's really important to hang around people that are happy. That's why Carol's a very good friend of mine, because she is happy. Although, because she was a dancer, I have to keep on beat. So, it's also a challenge for me to be her friend. <laughs> but it's not hard to be Mary's friend, as you all know. Ah. So, we appreciate you joining us today. Today, we're going to work with something that's stretchy. The name of the program is In Suspense, because both Carol and I have Sus a pair of suspenders. What you want to be careful of is not letting the sharp edges get you, so you may want to roll them in before you hold on. Or you can hold on before the edges of them meet your hand. Now if you don't happen to have a pair of suspenders, but you do happen to have a nice stretchy belt, that will be okay to use. Just make sure there are no sharp points. And if there are, just wrap it around and then use it without having contact with any of those sharp points. Also, you may not have a stretchy belt. That was mine. This is Carol's. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> if you don't happen to have a set of suspenders or a stretchy belt, you might want have some socks that you could tie together, and that makes a nice stretch also. Or, if you don't have those, you might have a pair of pantyhose that you can stretch. So I'm sure you have something around your house that you can use to stretch. That's a good idea to use your old pantyhose that you're going to throw away. <laughs> now I know what to do with them. <laughs> Carol's giving you a lot of good ideas. If you do have a belt or something and it's not long enough and you don't want to hurt your hand, you can always get a pair of gloves and sometimes that makes holding on a little easier. If you don't have a pair of gloves but it hurts your hands to pinch tightly, you could take a washcloth and you could put it around the end and maybe that would be a little easier. Now, Carol and I are going to do all our exercises at the edge of the chair so that we're forced to have good posture. If that bothers your back, you could take a pillow and put it behind your back 
and that may help out a little bit. Okay? Okay. All righty. So those are all your hints about how to have fun while well, in suspension. suspension. Yes. All righty. So you've checked with your doctor, you have loose, comfortable clothing, you have your stretchy fabric. Sounds like you're there ready. We're ready. If you're ready, are here you we ready? go. Okay. <laughs> Let's get our arms and legs warmed up. We'll start with our fingers up right in front of our shoulders. We're going to tap forward with one heel and push both arms forward and come back. Always remember, go at your own pace. If we're going too quickly, slow down. If it's hard for you to keep your hands this high, because it is work on the shoulders, you may want to drop your hands lower. Excellent, good. Our chests are high, our shoulders are down, and we feel great. Because when you exercise, your heart and your lungs work really hard, and you get blood and oxygen in the brain, which is really good. Yeah. There you go, four more, and three, and two, and one. So we were pushing forward and extending forward with the leg. So if we got this part of our shoulder, we want to get the other part. So part of our warm-up is our hands will be down by our sides. We're going to extend the leg and lean forward and push our hands back. Great, and right back to center. Push our hands back. You're doing really good. We want to try to relax the shoulders. If ever you see me not in good posture, look at Carol, because Carol has dancer's posture. You do. <laughs> and so how do you remember to stay up nice and tall like that? You just got to be proud and tall. Yes! And when you exercise with us, that's going to make you proud and tall. tall. Proud that you tried to exercise and you feel really good about it. And think of what you've accomplished. There you go. That is a great idea because every day you exercise, you're just going to get stronger and stronger. There you go, last one. Ah, so you can feel it a little bit? Okay, great. Now we're going to work our shoulders the middle. We work the front of the shoulders, the back of the shoulders, we're going to work the middle. So our hands are down by our sides, our chests are high and our spines are nice and long, our heads are held high and we pull the chins in just a bit. We're going to take this hand and we're going to lift it out to the side and we're going to do it again. Out to the side, good work. There you go, that's great. If this bothers your arm, you can always bend the elbow a little bit. But we want to try to really stretch out. We're working the middle of the shoulder. If going straight out to the side bothers you, you can go out to the side and slightly front. Kind of like this. Good. Last one and relax down. So let's take the shoulder and pull it up and relax it down. Pull it up and relax it down. Last one, please. Pull it up and relax it down. Now we're going to work the other side. So our hand hangs down in line with the shoulder and hip. We bring the back of the hand up. Good and relax it down. Now you may have one shoulder that's a little more flexible than the other. That is completely normal. There you go. Some people like to breathe out as they lift up. Good. Good. That there makes it go. a lot easier. It makes it a lot yeah. easier? That is good to know. Because if Carol says it makes it easier, it makes it easier <laughs> and done. Good work. So we're going to pull the shoulder up and relax it down. Pull it up, relax it down. Last one, pull it up, relax it down. Now we're going to go both shoulders. We're going to pull them up. We're going to draw them back and relax them down. We don't roll our shoulders front because we don't want our shoulders to think this is okay. So we pull the shoulders up and back and down. There you go. That's perfect. That is just perfect. We shrug our shoulders up like we've been caught with our hand in the cookie jar. And we go, <laughs> when our mother asks who did it, I don't know. Boy, Carol's really good at that. I think that she's been caught with her hand in the cookie jar a lot because oh, she's lost that reaction. <laughs> That's I'm excellent. I'm the cookie monster. I love <laughs> cookies. Wonderful. Now, do you have a favorite cookie? I think I like Oreo. Ah, nice. But it has to have milk. That's right, you have to have milk for your calcium, right? Right. Exactly. And relax the shoulders down. So I really kind of warmed up that upper body, a little bit of the lower body, but now we're going to touch out. So we take this leg and we touch out a little bit and in. Other leg. Good. 
There you go. Now, we start by only touching out a little, and then you can touch out a little more, and you can get a good stretch, really reaching out. There you go. So this is working the hip. We have to tighten up the outer thighs to bring the leg out, and then we have to tighten up the inner thigh to bring the leg in. There you go. It's out and in. And out and in. Out and in. Da -da. Da -da. As long as there's a beat, I'm good with Carol. <laughs> out and in and out and in. Last one here. Good job. Last one here. And relax. So you should feel that a little bit right around here. Good. Okay. You're doing great so far. Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling, feeling okay. great. Excellent. Okay. We're going to do a combination. We're going to have our hands on our knees. We're going to bring them right to the shoulders. And then we're going to bring them up to the sky. Bring them to the shoulders and down. Shoulders and up. And shoulders and down. And shoulders and up. And shoulders. Now we're going to make it a little more difficult. When we extend the arms up, we're going to lean back a little bit and bring one leg up. Are you ready? Here we go. It goes. Shoulders and up. And shoulders and down. Shoulders and up. And shoulders and down. You're Boy, doing that's great. good for the brain. Isn't that good for the brain? Woo! <laughs> now, what Carol pointed out is absolutely right. This is good for the brain, learning a new pattern with the body moving. Very good for the brain. That's absolutely right, Carol. That's because Carol's got a nice hippocampus. That stores your memory. Good. You've got it. One more, please. Curl and lift. And now you're done. So it not only worked the brain, but I felt it in my shoulders, Me too. Me too. <sighs> Okay, I'm getting a little thirsty. Can wow. I take a sip? I think that's a good idea. Let's okay. have a little drink of water. That's absolutely oh. right. Thank you for reminding You're me. You're welcome. Really mm. important to drink water. Better. Much better. That was absolutely terrific. Okay, now we're going to grab our stretchy things. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. okay, so we have suspenders. So we're going to take one end and there's something fun about when you work with something stretchy if your hands are all the way out to the end it's a little easier if you wrap one hand around it makes it a little tougher if you wrap another hand around it makes it tougher so the closer your hands are together the harder it is now because we have suspenders we have a double loop here which makes it really difficult if you have suspenders and you don't want to make it as difficult, just take one end, wrap it right around, so you're only working with one, okay? Oh, Does that make sense? Good idea, yeah. I didn't tell Carol that earlier because I don't want her to work easy. <laughs> so you decide how hard you're going to work, and of course you can change that at any time. All right? Okay. okay. So you'll notice that he Carol's hands are a little closer together, so she's really going to work hard. What we're going to do is a combination. As we touch this foot out, this hand is going to stretch out in that direction, but this hand is going to be right by the shoulder as an anchor. Are you ready? We're going to do it four times. Okay. One, two, three. Good work. And four. Let's change. Anchoring the hand and going. One, two, you've got it. Three, without hesitation, let's change. Whoa. One, good job. Two, feeling strong. Three, last time, let's change. Go one, good job. Two, beautiful work. Three, and one more, you're done. Ah, now I could feel that a that little bit. That was good. That was good. So, our hands have been wrapped around, so we want to stretch our hands out. Ah. Let's see how wide we can get those fingers. Pretty wide. Good, good. Good, good. Kind of like a little starfish. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty. Like now that. we're going to take our hands and hold the back sides of our chair. And we're at the edge of our chair, so we're going to lean front and open up the chest because we really work those shoulders. And sometimes when you're working with something of resistance in front of you, sometimes your shoulders really have to work hard. Did you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. Carol never lies. <laughs> <laughs> and then we come back to center. Good work. That was very, very nice. 
Now we're going to practice on, you know how sometimes somebody will say, oh, can you hand me the, say, somebody's little bag of groceries, and somebody will say, can you hand me the groceries, then you have to pick them up like this and pull up. So we're going to practice getting those muscles on the shoulder. But what we're going to do is anchor one hand right on the knee. Good. And we're going to bring the other hand right over the knee. Our shoulders are relaxed and down. And we're going to bring the back of the hand towards the sky. Are you ready? Ready. Belly and chest high and pull up. One, two, three. Good job. Four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. eight. Woohoo! That was a good one. Very, very nice. Let's try the other side. And you may have one side that's a little stronger than the other. So the hand goes right over your hand. That's a base of support right on the knee. And we pull up. One, two, good, three, four more, go, four, and three, and two, and done. Wow, that oh. was pretty hard. So again, our hands have been wrapped around. Let's interlace our oh. fingers and push down. Oh, that's good. Doesn't that feel good? Oh, that's good. And then we're going to push away. There you go. And a little to one side. Excellent. Back to center, please. And over to the other side. Our shoulders are relaxed and down. We come back to center and we shake it out. Shake it out. So we're really working the arms, but only towards the front. So we're going to separate our suspenders and we're going to flip them over our head. And it's along our line right under our armpits. Okay. So it goes right under our armpits. There we go. There That's you it. go. Okay. And your arm is bent in a 90 degree angle. Make sure you're not going to whack anybody yeah, at the end. Yeah, try and roll it. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank yeah. you, Carol. If you try to roll it, it also gives you something better to hold on to, doesn't it? Mm. Okay, that was a good idea. Shouldn't slip now. Shouldn't slip now. And if it does, I hope it doesn't wing and get me. <laughs> okay, so we're nice and tall. And if Bob, if this bothers your back, you can sit all the way to the back of the chair and put it around the back of the chair. But you want to make sure you're sitting all the way back when you do that. Okay, our arms are starting at a 90 degree angle, a little bend. We breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're going to go same leg, same arm, stretching front. One, change, two, good, three, there you go, four, nice work, five, six, good, seven, and eight, both arms, one, two, good job, three, nice and strong, four, you've got it, five, five. that's it, six, seven, and eight, wow, that was really good, so we work the front of the shoulders, back of the shoulders, the front of the shoulders, but again our hands were wrapped around. So we want to make sure that we stretch out those hands, stretch out those hands. Now what Carol was doing by counting is she was showing you that it's really, really a lot easier to control your breathing and not forget to breathe if you count. So when you say one, two, that's your breath coming out. So that reminds us to breathe. Thank you for that one, Carol. Anytime. <laughs> okay, so back we go, right behind our backs, in suspense, because we don't know what's going to happen <laughs> here, and I'm going to roll up, that was a good idea, Carol, to protect myself from whacking anybody. Yes. Okay, now this might be a little difficult. This is called the fly. We're going to bring our hands forward, good, and then we're going to bring them out wide. There you go, and in. Good. Now Carol's showing you from the side. And I'm showing you from the side, and we're showing your arms come wide, and you keep your arms straight so there's tension in the arms. Good work. There you go. That's it. Out and in. And we're keeping our arms straight so there's tension there the whole time. And you'll notice Carol's breathing out when she comes in. So let's count the last four. Four and three. And two, and one. one. Woo I could really feel that in my shoulders. Yeah. How about you? 
Okay, so what we were doing is we were coming in and coming in, so we want to stretch in the opposite direction. Our legs are wide, our fingertips are in. We breathe in and lengthen the spine. As we exhale, we fold forward from the hinge on the hips and our elbows come wide and it opens up the chest and rolls our shoulder blades together. Does that feel good? Mm -hmm. This is a great one. And slowly push the heels of the hands into the thighs and come up. Wow, that was terrific. Now we're gonna get a little bit of rotation. So we're gonna bring one hand to the opposite knee and this hand will slide back and hold the chair. Our spines are long and we turn our whole body and our head also. Slowly come back to center. Allow the hand to float over to the other knee. Hand comes from behind. Beautiful long spines and we turn. Ah, Keeping the neck flexible is very important also. Slowly we come back to center. Now we're gonna work the lower body. So we take our suspenders and we loop them over uh -huh. one of our feet. There you go. Uh, tricky one. Yep. Okay. And with the suspenders very loose, we walk the hands just about down to the knees. Now because we're at the edge of our chair, this will be very easy to do. What we're going to do is lean back as we bend the knee. Make sure the toe is pointed a little bit away so that it doesn't your suspenders don't like snap off and poke your eye out. <laughs> Hold your elbows right on your chair back and push the leg out and in. Two and in. Three and in. And four. Good job. Hold it out. Hold it out. Extend the arms. Point the toe. Try to lift the leg up a little and down. Two and down three, and down, and four. Now hold it down, bring it over to the side, and out, over, and out, over, and out. Last time, now drop the heel down, drop the heel down, hold it down, pull your arms back to your hips, relax, pull. So now we're working the upper back. These muscles are so important for posture. Great job, great job. Last one, and done. Wow, that was pretty doggone good. Hands down and lift those fingertips up. Spread them wide, wide, wide. Feeling like a million bucks. Doesn't it feel good? Ah, your bodies love to move. They really appreciate it. And you're much happier when you exercise because you release all those endorphins. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready to get the other side? I'm ready. Okay, away we go. Loop it over. Now, if you're afraid that it's going to snap off and poke your eye out, you can do one long end and one short end. Wrap the long end around until you have two even ends. So if you think that your big long suspenders are going to snap off, that will help secure them. Okay? So, that's enough. Here we go. Here we that's go. right. So we walk our hands down to our knees. And then we lean back, bend the knee, bend the elbows, lock the elbows on the chair. Now you'll notice that Carol just made hers a little tighter. You'll notice I never do that. <laughs> <laughs> we stretch and bend. And you'll notice neither Carol nor I are snapping our knee down. We don't snap the knee out. We simply extend the leg. Now we're going to hold it straight and relax the arms. We're going to point the toe and try to bring our leg up and down. And you'll notice that Carol is a dancer, so she can really bring her leg high. She's a dancing machine. <laughs> there you go. Last one. Hold it center. Bring it out a little bit and in. And you'll notice because she's a dancer, she points her toe all the time. <laughs> That's a problem, though, sometimes. Ah. <laughs> When you're supposed to have your feet flat, flat, I gotta look because they just don't want to go. <laughs> That's the dancer in there. That's a reflex. Come center, <laughs> drop the heels, sit tall, reach down, and pull the elbows back. Think of bringing the hands to the hips, keeping the chest high and the shoulders back and down. Doesn't that feel good. good? Ah, this is great. We draw our elbows back. Squeezing the shoulder blades, getting strong that upper back. That's so important for posture. Good job. Last one. You're done. Wow. 
That was pretty good. That was good. Ooh, Ooh, you could do all this with a pair of suspenders. A pair of suspenders. I'll tell you, everything you have you need. Anything. That's right. And the hands are down and the fingertips are up. There you go. And again, if you didn't have suspenders and you just had some old pantyhose, one leg, That's one leg. Great. And there you go. So always remember, you have everything you need. I brought these because they're like flesh fishnet, and I know that Carol, when she was dancing, always had fishnets. Fishnets, absolutely. Okay, let's lift our fingertips up and spread our fingers wide. Our chests are high, our heads are high. We're very proud we've come this far, because this has been kind of a tough exercise class. Yeah. We've been doing really well. Thank you for staying with us. Now, we're gonna work the outer thigh and a little bit of the buttocks by taking our suspenders and bringing them under our legs. And remember, you can make it more difficult by bringing your suspenders or your resistance closer to the knees. If you wanna make it easier, you bring it closer to the hips. But either way, you can get a good exercise. So what we wanna do is take the suspenders and cross them right over your knees and then bring your anchors on either side. Okay. There you go. I think I got it. Perfect. You've got okay. it. Okay. And hold your hands right here. Breathe in long spine. And as you exhale, you're going to try to push your knees Ooh. apart. This is really tough because we got a double Ooh. suspender. This is really hard. <laughs> Carol is oh. expressing our sentiments. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wow, you can really feel this on the outer thigh a bit? Sure can. Sure can, <laughs> absolutely. Now we're going to bring our knees together, but separate our feet a little bit. Breathe in, long spine, exhale, relax the shoulders, and out we go. Good. Very nice. Excellent. Good work. Last one, and done. So you can feel that differently. So now we interlace the fingers and push the palms away. And we grab a knee and pull it right to our chest and circle the ankle. Good work. And then just kind of go the other way and bring it down and change legs. Lean back and circle that ankle. Very, very nice. Reverse the circle. Great job. Relax it down. Let's hold the back of our chair, lift our chest up, and lean forward, rolling the shoulder blades together. Lifting the chest up. Don't you feel great? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to shake out any tension. Take a great big breath in. And as you exhale, know that all, all will, will be well. well. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.